and that you like to hear and all the sites so far and i'll make a summary just alongside newspaper headlines review this morning we'll have um, the following papers and most of them are about sunday Boho's matter and uh, namdekano's trial resumption so i make it quick Security stalls Iboho's court appearance in Kotono and then his extradition hearing will owe to the and there's a lot of anxiety over it because a lot of people have different sides. Well, uh, let me just quickly give you a rundown. But before I do that, let me just quickly go through all the papers. And then the second paper says declare bandits and killer herdsmen, terrorists, northern group tells Muhammad Ubari. Now this are northern groups telling Muhammad Ubari to declare killer heads men as terrorists instead of calling all those people bandits call them terrorists now this is coming from a northern group and that is also significant now on tribune Igbo remanded in Kotono prison faces immigration offense trial today I'll bring you all the sides by reacting to all these things at the end of the day okay his wife has been released on bail just in case you know his wife has been released because she was traveling on her own passport. Uh, Igboho is the bone of contention here. So his wife has been released, but Igboho is probably going to face the immigration offense trial today. And uh, there are, there's so much anxiety and tension in the hair. IPOB, uh, this is Senator Baribi saying, I will still stand for Namdekanu if the need arises again. I will still stand for Abaribi. That is. Uh, for Namdekan, that's Now, Buhari has no 2023 deal with Tinubu, and so he backs APC's consensus candidate. They say whoever the party comes up with is his choice. So he has no deal with Tinubu, just so that um, everybody is on the same page. So anxiety as Kotono Kota Jones till today returns to to sell. And then I have the following to say about the case with Iboho. Now, there are two things. Iboho will either be extradited to Nigeria, okay, or he will be freed. But this is where everybody should be conscious, especially those who are interested and agitators, okay. Um, let me also quickly let you know that Shore will be leading rally today, I mean, leading protests today so that those who have been taken, who have been paraded in Abuja today, those that were arrested in Igbo's house and are going to be arraigned in the courts today, should rest leading a protest for their release in Abuja this morning, just so that you're also aware. Uh, but as for the matter in Kotonu, you see, Kotonu wants to be very careful. The Benin Republic government wants to be very careful not to appear like they are helping the government to witch hunt their citizens, even though they also have strict law uh, guiding their immigration practices. And so they do not want, uh, they will want to try him for obtaining that passport. They say it was fake or illegal. So if they want to go for that, then, okay, it's back again. So one thing that is more important again is that releasing him might also be a gain. And those of us who have the experience when we tell you these things, it's not because we hate. We all love Igboho for standing up against the attack on Southwest. We are only trying to guide him, not to make mistakes. So those of their media team who are always hyping him and pushing him, please stop it. Somebody says no voice. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Somebody says no voice. Okay, I think we are good. Now, please, let all those is media people. Eh? You are the ones causing these problems. Stop making false and wrong claims. It's too bad. Okay? Let us face the fact. So now, we now need that energy to increase again. The energy that we need to increase again is, thank you so much for confirming the audio here. We now need, again, to make sure that why should rest leading protests for those who were arrested in Igbo's residence and are being paraded in Abuja, 
for their release, we must also make sure we increase tension. Now, this is what is important to me. From experience, Kotono government may release him, but that is not the end. Because Nigerian governments, especially the military regime that came back in Agbada, is very skilled in one act. Trust me, they are surrounded everywhere. Kotono may release him, Nigeria will kidnap him again, immediately. So we need to make sure that we increase. And this is just a tip of those who are close to the border right now, or those who are there on ground, should make sure that they increase the number of people that take Igbo out immediately and go and keep in. And make sure you do everything you need to do for the asylum to be proper and correct. Nigeria, somebody says it's not, okay, let me allow the comment. I, I understand some people are deliberately doing some of these things to make people relax. Don't relax. We have given advices in the past that it's media people called our bluff. And it turned out what we said was what happened. All right? It's what we said that eventually happened. We are only giving you a tip off. Nigeria government is good. If they told you a week before that an Amdekano will be captured that way, would you believe it? Okay. Sunday Boho, okay? Sunday Boho needs to be completely guided right now. So that once that government on the ground of asylum seeking releases Igbo and fail or refuse to extradite him to the Nigerian government, okay, it must be, you must make sure that he is immediately protected in Kotonu. And the government should not only release him. That is another pressure that is important. Do not only release him to a government that fails to honor or respect human rights of people. Nigeria government does not recognize fundamental human rights. So Kotonu has a chance now to prove that it is a country that respects fundamental human rights by not releasing Igbo to the federal government of Nigeria. Because Inam Dekano and Shawari are still there. And we do not know what they want to do to Igbo. So we must make sure that Igbo is released there. And as well, the people arrested from his house are also released here in Nigeria. So a people security, not military security now, a people security must be beefed up around Igbo immediately. And not just that, it's also important that we also mount pressure on the Koton uh, Benin Republic government not to only release Igbo, but to also make sure that they, in they increase the security around him so that he is not abducted. So that he is not abducted. Now, let me tell you one thing they always do. Because the lawyers are also working together. All right? They also need to learn to work. Now, let's do this. The government of Nigeria have network of lawyers across West Africa. And it is, it is very possible for them to impress the judges, that to guarantee Sunday Ibuho's safety, the safest place for him is prison. And I'll, I'll exp let me see, I'm not talking out of vacuum. I'm talking from experience. Number one, it took a long time after serious pressures before they granted Shehore bill. Upon release, before we could even perfect the or allow, re get him out on the bill, it took long time and protests. And upon releasing him, they came to re-abduct him again. As we speak right now, they are pressuring, mounting pressure on the shorties to revoke their shortiship so that it can be picked up again on whether the same or other offenses and rearranged again. Now, let me tell you the intrigue around your arrest matter. The judges know that by standard, by ethics, once a case lacks merit, they are duty bound to throw the case out. But the regime has no case against them, against Shogore or anybody for that matter. And what they decide to do is to 
continue to tell the judges, we know we have nothing for against this man, but please keep holding him. Keep holding him. But the judges don't want to be in the bad book of history. They don't want to be on the wrong side of or on the wrong side of history. They do not want to be on the wrong side. So that is why they are throwing Shores case out. Like, see, if you have no case against this man, I'm going to throw it out. But the government will say, don't throw it out. Hold him. And those ones don't want to be on the wrong side of history. So they will rather recuse themselves from the case by abandoning the case. Now, how many judges have so far recused themselves from Shores case? And they are still holding him. So the trial will start all over. That one will look at it for a while. The government will fail to come to court. They will fail to prove their case. The judge will want to reject it. And then they will give another judge to start all over again. That is, those are all marks of characteristics of a government that does not respect human rights. If Igboho is allowed to be released to this government, they will have cases against Igboho. Shebi, they have no case against Shebi and is going through all this. Now, let me tell you another intrigue or another side to this. When Shore said was asking for his freedom, when Shore was asking for his freedom, they told him that the safest place, that the safest place is in prison. They said they can't guarantee Shore's safety, that the safest place for him is in prison. Did you hear that? It took serious arguments, fights, and all that before they said, okay, 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 we'll release him, but it must be within, within FCT, where his trial is going on. Now, all these experiences are necessary to prepare your mind or our mind in fighting against the extradition and, I mean, persecution of Sunday Buhu. So when we speak these things and is I don't want to use foul words. Media people continue to attack us. They see worse things. Because if we fail to learn from antecedents, we don't move. We don't, we would have, it would have been a better, I mean, Sunday Bowl's uh, movement would have been on a better hedge if they are taking into cognizance all those lessons from Shores' case. If they are taking into cognizance all those things we told them from Shores' case that they will do this, do this, they will do this, do this, they will do this, avoid this, they will do this, do that, do it this way, do it that way. If they are taking all those things to cognizance, it will be smarter will not be like this. To the extent that it will have to be running away. It will not be like this. But we must learn from history and guide against recurrence of abysmal things like this. These are wrong. But what is important, what is important here is, number one, the pressures are mounting and it's okay. The reason they are done till today was because they are still weighing the options in Benin Republic. The government of Benin Republic is so tight and like they do not really know what to do. The, the pressures are coming in, the diplomatic uh, requests from Nigerian government too, they are also looking at the relationship. But at the end of the day, politics will be the last of it. They may want to do some, you know, uh, they may want to play a game by ceding position to them and reaching compromises. And we want to hope that Igbo will not be the sacrifice for their compromise that they want to reach, which is why people voicing together is as important. So that once the number of people on the side of Igbo is more, Okay, as they are weighing the option, the side of the people is heavier than the oppressive class. So even if at the end of the day they decide to release Igbo to the hands, into the air, and I understand what I mean by releasing him into the air, that's volatile. Anything can then happen to him because at that point it will no longer be in their own stead that anything happens to him. But you know, Nigerian government is in the art of kidnapping, abducting, <laughs> you know. So you must make sure that not only is Sunday Bo released, it must immediately be protected and guided by people so that he is not re-abducted. These are words from experience. 
And there's another particular and important headline here, and I would like you to see it again. Now, this is to the APC folks who believe that all these games they are doing, they are happy that Igbo is arrested, they are happy that Namdekan is arrested, they are happy that Shere is kept in Abuja and all that. Okay? You are happy about this. But let me ask you. Buhari has no 2023 deal with Tinubu, and he has said whatever consensus the APC reaches is his own choice too. All right? So what does this mean to us? So all of you who believe that, oh, all these things are happening because Tinubu and Buhari have an agreement and they are doing all this to keep the agreement. See, 24 hours is a long time in politics. 24 hours. Hmm? 24 hours is a long time in politics. Mr. Lawson Ebay, please, please, I, I do not like comments that sound like hypocrisy, please, or sarcasm. I'm not interested. Okay? It is the same way when we were seeing all these things before. They will come here and write all type of comments, abuse us. They think we hate what they are doing. We don't hate what you are doing. We are only saying we have seen this method before and this is the end. This will be the end. Have they not come back to play? Have they not come back to be? Anytime somebody is giving you a piece of advice, especially somebody who has been through it before or who has seen it before. I'm not, a, I'm not just a blogger. I'm not a vlogger who just wants views and all that. That's not what I'm doing here. I've gone, I've seen it. I have, I mean, I have been part of it before. So I know where it will likely end when you do one thing. You say, yeah, this one is not like that. Ibo is not sure. This is not that. Excuse me. We told you. But at this point, it's even too late to be going into that. What is important right now is that we make sure that they do not get away with this this time. We must make sure they don't get away with this this time. No, Adiola, I must use their comments to get other... They have misled a lot of people. These comments have misled a lot of people. So we must make sure, we must make sure that we use the comments to guide people, not to follow those comments, misleading them to believing somebody has metaphysical power and can deal with anything anyhow. No, even if you have it, even if you have it, there is a way to do it. If I have that kind of power, uh uh. But don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Let's. At this point, what is important for all of us mm, is to make sure federal government does not get away with this again. We must now make sure that all the voices come together. It is for exactly for all of us. It's exactly for all of us. It's not because oh, I don't like uh, Inamdekanu, I don't like Shewure. I don't like Igbohu. I would have liked, loved Igbohu, but he's doing this thing I don't like. Oh, I would have loved Shewere, but he's doing this I don't like. But at least all the methods the method you like, federal government has proven to you that as long as you are alone in your thing, we can capture you alone. But there's something that has always won when we weigh together. Federal government has never won in such, in such a, a situation. So that is what we must always make sure that we do. Okay? It's enough of being too reactionary. It's enough of being too reactionary. Let's think. When somebody is bringing something to the fore, look at the merit of it. Instead of you to use the information and use it to guide yourself, you would rather be attacking the person. Okay, the method you love, go federal government has conquered that method too. Oh, yeah, now. Oh, yeah. All the method everybody believes is the best. Federal government has showed you that it can capture individual method until all the sides bond together and face the common enemy. So when we told you the common enemy is the federal government that does not want to respect human rights, you said, no, don't mind them. We have constitutional force major. We have this, we have that. Okay, you have it. But here we, you, the government you don't want to face, you are now coming back to say, let us face them. 
why are you coming back to square one? We thought you had gone to square hundred now. <laughs> uh, yes, 24, 24 hours is a very long time in politics. It's too much. So if you think, oh, your godfather has this plan or this everything, I have seen before somebody, somebody won election. Local government in Lagos State, your Lagos. Somebody won local government election as chairman. It was his name was the person who was a candidate for the party. He did all the works he needed to do. He finished all the works. I hope you are listening so that you use this information again. Because when I say I'm on ground, I know what's going on. People attack me. But I am here. I am here. I'm telling you what's going on. You know. Now, guess what happened? He won the election. He won the election. But guess what? He won the election, but on the day he was to go and take certificate of return from INEC, his godfather in the party changed the name in INEC. He was the one everybody voted for. But by the time he wanted to go and take certificate of return as the winner, they called another name and it was like, no, you made a mistake. <laughs> that is, you are supposed to call my name. I am the party flag bearer. I won the election. They said, no, your party gave us another name. Overnight. Overnight. Okay? So, all you're saying is that in politics, 24 hours is a very long time. Especially when you are playing with people who have multiple interests. And you think you are the best interest for them. You may not be. Before morning, things change. The same way you had a, par a, a party meeting in the morning or afternoon, you had an agreement. You had an agreement. But after immediately you left that party, the other members of the party are leaving for another meeting without telling you. They will go and do another meeting. In fact, the other meeting they are doing by evening, they are leaving there to enter another meeting at night. And you are not aware. You just wonder how come the next morning all the discussions and agreements we had <laughs> already changed between when and when. In politics, 24 hours is a very long time. It's too much. So when you believe that Buhari wants to hand over to Tinubu, and as such you are angry at Shoure, you are angry at Nambikano, you are angry at Iboho, guess what? This paper I'm showing right now is one of your answers. There are many answers, but that's just one of them. At this point, I need to let, uh, let us go. Uh, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to be revealing too much again. But let's continue to monitor the event. Kotono, let's continue to mount pressure. Uh, Abuja, let's continue to mount pressure. Everywhere, let's continue to mount pressure. Okay? And that's exactly what we need. Ade Emidairu, Ibu's intention is genuine. Territory has been overrun. People killed. Of course, that's why we support Ibu. Yeah, his intention is genuine. But the method too, we told you, the way we are pushing him is not right. You pushed him to say it's indomitable. Guesses can never capture him. If they come in 1,000, they will not go. You know, you pushed all the, they were not necessary. Unnecessary jiving. I mean, we hope you learn from this. Anyways, my name is Shegolo. I just want to leave it at this point. Bye for now.